we have a bit of a problem here. So the other night I was using my GT like normal, just rode it around the neighborhood, brought it down to about 30%, and I charged the board up to 100%. It was completely full. Once it hit 100%, I took it off the charger and just left it overnight. The next morning when I turned it on, this is what happened. So I go to power it on, it lights up for a second, and I, I started trying to ride it. Now it's trying to ghost on me, it's trying to move around, and then after a couple seconds, red light comes on, and then I get a message on my phone saying it's error 22, incompatible hardware detected. Um, I've, uh, the board, as you can see, is bone stock. Even the PSI hasn't been altered. It's trying to actively slide backwards right now. There it goes. Now it finally wants to cut off. Um, what I noticed is when I was riding it and the red light was on, it was like riding extreme pushback the entire time. It was like the angle of the board was like this high it was nearly in the like the normal dock position like it is right now and uh yeah i'm not sure what happened i downloaded the latest firmware the other day and let me check the settings on this and see what vert it's version 2.519 so mileage uh, it is up to 288 miles before this happened. So it's saying error 22 again under diagnostics. It's hardware 6404 Cassiopeia 6109 firmware. And the temperature, as you can see, is 71.6, 71.6 for the controller temperature, and motor temperature is 69.8. Um, I was looking on the Reddit forum and the One Wheel forum, and I haven't seen a GT with this problem. People have complained about the pint having the Error 22 issue. So uh, I'm not quite sure what to do. I reached out to Future Motion and opened up a ticket, but I haven't heard from them yet. And I sent that yesterday, which was a Friday. Today's a Saturday and we're heading into the weekend. So it's very doubtful that they'll get back to me in time. But if you guys have experienced error 22 in the past, let me know what you've done to remedy it. I hope I don't have to send the board back in. Um, if I do, I'm not sure if I would have to cover the shipping fees or not, um, or if Future Motion can patch my board from a distance or something. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys have experienced and what you had to do or had to do with dealing with Future Motion and customer service. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the current thing. My board's worked great straight out of the box for miles and you know I can't even do any tricks yet I can't can't even curb nudge yet so I've just been riding regularly on the streets so anyway um see light, lights turn on let me know your guys thoughts and uh what I can do to maybe get my board fixed thank you